Okay, in this video, we're going to try to do 1982 AB number four from the AP calculus exam. Uh, it's a related rates problem, and that's why we're doing it right now, because I am currently running through a lot of related rates uh, for response questions. So let's see. Uh, we have this picture. It looks like it's just going to be a triangle problem. Um, a ladder 15 feet long, leaning against. So this is always 15. It cannot change. And that's important. Um, leaning against a building so that and X is on level ground, and then Y is on the wall. X is moved away from the building um, at a constant rate of one half foot per second. So I always think it's really important to get the, well, I mean, it's definitely really important to get the rates right. The way that I think about it is, over time, is the distance getting bigger or smaller? So if you're moving away from the building, you're going this way. Over time, X is getting bigger. So this is basically telling me that dx dt is positive. So that's going to be, ah one half foot per second. One half foot per second. All right, and we're probably gonna need that, obviously. One half, there we go. Had a lot of trouble writing that. All right, find the rate in feet per second at which the length OY, OY is changing when X is nine feet from the building. All right, so um, just like thinking about it, I mean, this is going this way, so this has to go this way so that this can stay 15. So OY, it's gonna have a negative rate, but uh, the question for A is find dy dt when uh, x equals nine, dx dt equals one half. So I like to write down the things that I know. And I also, I mean, I know the latter is 15, but that can't change. All right, so. Uh, I'm also, I'm calling this X and this Y, which is probably a bad move because there are points named X and Y, but like, I feel like that's how you're supposed to do the problem. So uh, what are we gonna do here? Uh, Pythagorean theorem, X squared plus Y squared equals 15 squared. So if X squared plus Y squared equals 15 squared, um, we're gonna need, eventually, we're gonna need to know what Y is. Uh, so from that, we know that Nine squared plus y squared equals fifteen squared. That's at three, four, five squared. Uh, three, four, five multiplied by three. So this is going to be twelve. Right. So uh, three, four, five. And if we multiply by three, we'll get nine, twelve, fifteen. Always look for Pythagorean triples. They they use them pretty much all the time. Cause you're like supposed to know them and it speeds up the calculations and everything. Uh, all right, derivatives with respect to time here. Kind of the, uh, the key to related rates is being good at implicit and remembering that everything is a function of time or angle or some, some parameter. Uh, all right, so let's not mess this up and let's not mess this up. Let's not mess anything up. All right, so it's gonna be two X and dx dt plus 2y and then dy dt equals the derivative of a constant is zero. Far and away the most common mistake that I see. All right, what are we doing? So we know uh, x is gonna be nine. We know dx dt is gonna be one half. We know that uh, y is gonna be 12. And we'll solve for dy dt. So one half, what is going on? My iPad is like not happy today, but that's all right. Uh, two times nine times one half is just nine plus two times, uh, why are you a triangle? 12 dy dt, so equals zero. So I think dy dt is gonna be negative nine over 24. Uh, which you can simplify into negative, negative three eighths, but you also do not need to. I think that's feet per probably second. Let me, let me check those units. Feet per second. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing I don't like here is uh, it like autocorrect somehow turned my highlighting in purple into a triangle. I think that's where things start going weird with me trying to like move around on the page. All right, uh, pretty good. 
find the rate of change in square feet per second of the area of triangle x o y when x is nine. Okay, so x x o y is there, so one half base times height, so one half x times y is the area. So we'll say b area equals one half x y. We know that x is going to be nine. We know dx dt is going to be negative one half. No, positive one half because it's getting bigger. Literally had that whole conversation. And then uh, we also know that y is going to be 12. And we know dy dt, because we just solved for it, is going to be negative 3 eighths. So like very dependent on the previous answer. They got away from that now. They don't do that so much because it's a nightmare. <laughs> like when, uh, when you get A wrong and you need to use your answer to A to answer B, like uh, the grading, grading disaster. So we're going to take the derivative with respect to time of this, the derivative with respect to time of this. All right, so we get dA dt, the rate of change of the area of the triangle is first derivative of the second plus second derivative of the first. And we just like know everything to plug in here, right? We got uh, x is nine, we got dy dt is we think negative three eighths, we got y is 12. We also only think that, but I mean, I'm pretty confident. And then dx dt is one half. So let's sub in those values. Hopefully get it right. One half. You know, I forgot a one half here. The derivative of the first is one half dx dt. Not bad. Right? Because the first function is one half x. So the derivative of that is one half dx dt. Good. I caught it at the last second, but I was about to get it wrong. Nine. Negative three eighths plus one half. Twelve. One half. All right. What do we got here? Negative 27 over 16 plus 12 over 4 plus 3, which is 48 over 16, which is 21 over 16. Okay, so I think dA dt, or the rate of change of the area of the triangle, is 21 over 16. Uh, X and Y are both in feet, so feet squared, and time is in seconds. So that, I would say, is my answer to B. So the entire thing is, is your answer. You need all the work, everything. Uh, it was good, really good catch on my part, if I do say so myself, uh, that I had forgotten this. You know what I should have done to make it safer? I should have just factored that one half out to begin with, done like one half, and then uh, the derivative with respect to time of x times y. But I didn't, but at least I remembered it at the, at the last second there. So. I think these are our answers. So dy dt is negative 3 eighths. Um, and then dA dt for part b, I think is 21 over 16. So that is 1982 AB4. And I hope you found this helpful. And uh, good luck.